Hey guys, welcome to Medico Physio Actors. I'm Prajwal Amis. So let's get started. Our today's concept is convex concave rule and concave convex rule. Okay, so where do we see this rule? It's very simple. Our bones perform movements at the joints using these rules. Okay. So before going into the rule, you need to know something really basics. Okay. So let's see that. First, you need to look at the surfaces. Okay. Convex surface that is bulging out. Okay. Next will be the concave surface, as the name says, caving inside. Okay. Concave surface. Next is osteokinematics and orthokinematics. Okay, so osteokinematics is as simple movement at your bones. Okay, movement at your bones. And orthokinematics says movement at the joints. Okay, that is rolling and gliding. I will show you that. Okay, rolling and gliding. Movements at the bones. These are very simple stuffs. So, these two are your bones. Okay. One bone has convex surface, another bone has concave surface. Right. So, movements here are osteokinematics and movements between them, that is at the joint, is orthokinematics. Keep these two points in mind, okay? So let's start. In convex concave rule, the osteokinematics and orthokinematics of gliding, okay? Gliding is must ensure. The osteokinematics and orthokinematics of gliding move in opposite direction, okay? They move in opposite direction. Right. In concave convex rule, the osteokinematics of bone and orthokinematics of gliding occur at the same direction. Okay, they both occur at the same direction. While in convex concave rule, that was opposite direction. Okay. In convex concave rule, your convex bone will be moving. Okay. And your concave bone will be fixed, that is stationary. Okay. In concave convex rule, your concave surface will be moving, and your convex surface is immobile, that is fixed. Okay. Your convex is fixed, your concave will be moving. In convex concave rule, this is your osteokinematics of bone. This is your orthokinematics at joints, particularly gliding. When you move bone in upward direction, you can see that osteokinematics is moving upward and the gliding, the orthokinematics of gliding is taking place downward. In downward movement, you can observe that the osteokinematics is moving downward and the gliding is moving upward right gliding is taking place upward while the osteokinematics is taking place downward in concave convex rule when you move the bone upward you can see that the osteokinematics is moving upward along with that the gliding is also moving in upward direction the gliding is also moving in upward direction so that means both the osteokinematics and the orthokinematics of gliding taking place in the same direction okay when you move in downward direction you can see that the osteokinematics is moving downward of course and also the gliding is taking place in the downward direction so that means they both move in same direction in concave convex rule. So what if the bones go against the rule? 
let us see that okay in convex concave rule this is our normal movement when you go against the rule that is in same direction you can see that there is impairment of bones right again there is impairment of bones or you can say there is no contact between the bones in concave convex rule this is our normal rule movement when you move in opposite direction that is against our rule we can see that there is also impairment of bones again there is impairment of bones or there is no contact between the bones so that's why the bones follow these rules okay hey i hope you understood the rules isn't it so then return me the favor by subscribing and giving a like okay and and if you have any queries questions or you need notes you can comment below or you can contact me through my instagram directly okay bye bye